Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? This is your homeboy Seth McDonald. <laughs> and right now I'm just kinda waiting on my chicken to get cooked. Um I just cooked some macaroni and cheese. I'm having chicken and macaroni and cheese tonight. <laughs> um baked chicken and macaroni and cheese. Um chicken wing the 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 drumsticks. Um, I'm not. I'm not really a big wing person or the thigh. I'm more of like the drumstick person. Um, that's the thing. Um, you know that Texas uh, shooting. Um, it was a bad deal. You know I've seen it on the news over the weekend, and I know. It, <laughs> I don't know um, how many people there are um, that was shot. I mean, I watched bits and, bits and pieces of it, but um, I was also watching another YouTuber's opinion on it and what he thought about it, and this is my opinion on what I thought about it, um, after watching his opinion on it. Um, why, you know, they had security, you know, in the big schools like that, they have security. They have security. Why would they let somebody walk into school and grab a gun? Or walk into school and have a gun in their backpack? You know, the security there, they, you know, they check their bags when they go in they check see if they have anything well apparently they didn't do a good job on checking because they let us they let a person in the building in Texas of a school um, basically massacred all those children which you know I feel sorry for the family you know I give condolences to the family that are going through loss um, but my point of view is why didn't the cop security guards at the school when I know since there's a big school where it got shot at people got shot at I know they have security guards there that's right I know they have security guards there why didn't the security guards that get paid to do their job you know, to protect the children that were getting shot at, you know, because they thought, oh, they were scared because um, they ain't paid enough to, you know, do their job to be a security guard at the school. People, you know, we need to wake up. Eventually, our kids, our younger kids, our younger generation, You know, they're going to be fearful of life because, you know, they feel like they can't, you know, walk into the school. You know, they can't walk outside their house without being afraid of being shot at. You know, what makes me wonder is why would a person would go to a school and shoot it up? Why? Because, you know, their life sucks. Um, they're, you know, they don't have a job, you know, they ain't going nowhere, maybe their wife left them, who knows. But, um, the thing of it is, is that a shooting in Texas should not have even, even happen. I know one thing, you know, if I would have been the parents, every one of those parents, you know, I would, I would, if I would have been them, I would have taken the security guards that were there at the front door, I'd be taking them to court, I'd be suing them, plus, I'd be suing the school for letting that happen. That's just my opinion. Because... Even though I don't have kids, you know, I, I mean, I don't really have room to talk.
but if, if I was that parent, you know, yeah, money ain't going to solve anything. Money ain't going to bring them back. But the parents could actually sue the school and the security guards for not taking care and being better protective of their own kids. That's right. Because the reason why I say that is that they should not even even let that even happen. They had security cameras. They seen it in the office going down. You know, why they call it, you know, get on the phone really quick, say, hey, there's something up in, around this classroom area. Go check it out. You know, they could have called up security and had them go check it out before it even happened. They shouldn't even let the, the person in with the gun into the school in the first place. But the thing of it is, you know, people, what's this world coming to? What's this world coming to? Because the way I see it, I mean, I, I see evil coming around all over, all over this, the world now. It's like, it's, it's sad. You know, I mean, I don't really see, I mean, I do see good in the world, but really what I see is mostly evil. And the thing of it is, in, in the book of Revelation, um, if you if you ever happen to read the Bible, um, I think it's almost the end of time world because you know too many riots, too many sh school shootings, too many pandemics, uh, too many political stuff happening, and. Too much of it's going on at the same time. Well, that white horse might already been come and passed. That was just the first stage to getting everybody to riot, to getting everybody to, you know, shoot up places, have pandemics, you know, killing everybody off, and stuff like that, you know. That's the first sign of the root of all evil. And it even talks in the book of Revelation. But the thing of it is, that them security guards should not even have that school shooting even happen in Texas. You know, they get paid to do their job like everybody else. You know, sometimes it might not be as much. But, you know, they're there to do their job, and they need to do it right. That's right. They need to do it right. The reason why I say that is because, you know, if that would have been my kid, you know, if I would have had a kid, and if I was living in Texas, if I would have went to that school, and my kid got shot up, killed, I would have sued the teacher in the classroom, I would have sued the owner of the school and plus the principal. Plus I would have sued the security guards that were working on that shift for letting him happen. But that's just my opinion. But if it would have been my kids. But I don't have any kids. So I can't really say none. But you know if your parent parents are the ones that are watching this video you know if you agree with me on that you know yeah you know I would go for it but really technically um, only thing they can do is pay for the funeral that's probably about it but you know I'm on I, I'm on for your loss you know I feel your pain um, I even know I don't know what nothing's like to losing a kid but I do know what it's like to lose a grandpa from death the COVID, um, plus a cousin in a car wreck, plus an uncle, uncle due to liver cancer. So I, I know what it's like to lose somebody that's close, they're close with. But a child, you know, that has to be more painful than me. And so like I said, security guards shouldn't even let it even happen. 
you know, if they're, you know, if it's a big school that has more kids running around and everything, and security and all that, um, in a bigger city, some schools do have security in a bigger city. Um, because of that reason only. Well, why didn't the security people do their job and the teachers do their job as well? You know, as much as it is, as much as the teacher's fault, even let it, preventing it to happen, letting them go into the classroom, you know, and all that, and doing what they was wanting to do, but it's also the security people for fault for letting them come in, and and plus it's more of the principal's fault as well because nine out of ten. He let it went down. So. And they're trying to say. And they're trying to ban. Guns. They're trying to ban. Guns now. Because of this scenario. Well. Here's my opinion. They ain't gonna stop no, nobody. You know, everybody will riot on that because that'll start another riot in another town or another city or something like that. Because due to the people getting their guns taken away, even though they might have a permit for it, but they'll say, "Oh, you can't have that because you know it's against the law to have a gun." Well, we live in America, people. We don't live in a dictatorship. We don't live in China. We don't live in Hong Kong. We don't man, we don't live in Korea. We don't live in Russia or Ukraine, you know, getting our supplies taken away or our guns taken away, you know, due to the laws over there being strict, you know, of carrying arm ammunition and stuff like that. We have more freedom over here in the United States. There is no such thing that that anybody can say for people to give up their guns. I tell you what, if I had a gun, you wouldn't be able to find it because I would hide it very well where you wouldn't be able to find it because I'd be like, hey, you ain't taking my gun rights away because Really, technically, you know, guns don't kill people. It's the person that owns the gun itself. That's what kills people. You know, only thing, if it was a student, only thing I could, you know, if he was a student going there at that school and he decided, okay, you know, I'm tired of the drama. I'm tired of people bullying me every day. You know, nobody's helping me out with the situation. I have no girlfriend. You know, I have, I know I have no friends. You know, I don't go to parties or wherever. You know, he probably, he's probably thinking all of that. If he's a student that goes there, and he probably just, you know, fuck it. You know, he said he's, he's done with it. So he just said, I'm going to handle things in my own way. That could be it too. You never know in them circumstances. Um, there was a, another, there's another movie, American X. Um, I don't know if it's based on a true story, but I think it was. Um, it's about a gang, uh, Hitler's Hitler, Nazi, Nazi's uh, gang leader's son. Um, he was going to school. Um, he was getting bullied by a bunch of black people and everything. And, um, well, the black people didn't like him because of his brother. So, even though his brother, did, his little brother didn't have nothing to do with it, but because he was still family with that brother in that Nazi gang, the black kid ended up shooting his younger brother, ended up killing him in the bathroom, in the movie. So, I think that might have been based on a true story. 
Um, but I don't know. But it, it happened in Texas. And, but like I said, you know, people, um, if the government thinks that guns kill people, they're wrong. The gun does not load up the bullet itself. How much, uh, how, the gun would not be loading it up itself, walking itself into the building. The person that's carrying it will be doing it for it. Plus, you know, that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. So, there you have it, folks. That's just my opinion on things. You know, guns don't kill people. People kill people. Um, that's all there is to it. The security guards didn't let it happen. Um, the principal shouldn't even let it happen. Um, the people in the office shouldn't even let it happen. The teachers shouldn't even let them let the kids come into the classroom like that anyway. Um, so. Yeah, I give condolences to all the families that's lost their child, but the thing of it is, um, so like I said, you know, just, you know, I just feel sorry for the family and everything, all the families that went through that tragic day, and a lot of the children still lost their friends, you know, and stuff like that, and, you know, I'm, you know, I feel your pain, but even though I don't have kids, but I feel your pain, and you know, it's just, what's this world coming to? That's all I'm asking. Seven Dawn Four, signing out. Peace.